Hi guys, if you clicked on that thumbnail, you know where you reach. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. This is going to be your mid month love reading for the beautiful sign of Aquarius. Hey Aquas, Ow. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, this is going to be a five card reading. Before we get into the cards, let me go ahead and let you know right now, I apologize for the sound quality. I apologize for the splotchiness. I apologize for the glare, okay? Um, you already know at this point what's been going on with me. Um, I am experiencing some technical difficulties, so roll with a sister. This is going to be the reading that takes you through the um, the rest of this month. This is gonna we're gonna be examining some love energies that's surrounding you. This is your mid month, okay? Yes, it is a little late, but roll with us, it's okay. Now, I do have my right away deck handy. I hope I don't have to clarify. I had to clarify in my clients that I had. I had to clarify. My God, the last couple of videos. I hope I don't this time, okay? So I did do some pre-shuffling off camera so I can try to tap into your energy. Um, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get it started. Five card reading. Two cards that represent the most recent past and present. Two cards that represent the heart of the matter or the what lies beneath. Two cards that represent the overall outcome. We're also going to be doing a Romance Angel Oracle card that's going to be examining um, the theme of that love energy. Okay. And we're going to be flipping that over and getting a, we're going to be flipping the deck over both of the decks to infuse the bottom of the deck energy for a more solidified message. Let's go ahead and get started, Aqua. Um, I hope that this um, Libra season is finding you guys all well and in good spirits, okay? As I am fondling these cards here, I just want to let you guys know that I have one slot available for the free readings. Thank you all of you. Thank all of you who have taken the time out to join the contest and win. I look forward to looked forward to connecting with all of you guys. And for those of you guys who have um, rebooked as a result of meeting me for the first time in that contest, Namaste, and I appreciate you guys as well. You get a free surprise for me when you do that, so I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started, Aqua. Universe Spirit Angels and my guys, go ahead and provide me with the love energy that is going to surround my Aquarius. Aquarius, okay? Aquarius. Give it to me, Spirit. Go ahead and let me know. I'm not going to take that. Uh-oh. That one I am going to take. New love. New love. Bottom of the deck is release your ex. The time has come to release, to clear your energy, to allow this new love to come in. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Aqua. Congratulations. Go ahead and find out what's going on, okay? I'm going to go ahead and shuffle a couple more times, okay? Um, if you need to get in contact with me, you guys know how to do that. We have one slot available for the free reading, okay? I will be extending that in the month of October as well as doing other things if you guys want to go ahead and do that. But understand, the two people right now that have been notified that they're winners but they haven't booked yet, please be aware that that code that you have is going to expire at the end of the month. Even if you, so by the time, if you try to use it after 10-1, it won't work. So even if you book for the sake of booking and then you get, you reach out to me and tell me that you want to reschedule it, do that because um, I want to make sure that I open it up and give everybody a chance. I will reschedule you once you have won, you have won, but your code is only good from the uh, first through the 30, uh, the whatever this month ends. I don't know. I'm. I'm, I don't think it's a 31st month, but it ends at the end of the month, okay? Just going to let you know. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll play and get you up out of here, okay? So, universe, spirit, angels, and my gods, go ahead and provide me with the overall love energy that surrounds my Aquarius in this mid-month for September 2018, okay? Show me. Oh, my God. Just fell everywhere. All right. I'm only going to take what was face up. I'm only going to take what's face up. All 
That's my bad energy. I'm going to reshuffle really quick, okay? That was good. Kaboom. My God. Kaboom in the room. All right. Good energy, though. All right. Universe Spirit, go ahead and give me those cards, please. We need one card for the heart of the matter, please. Everybody's getting this card. Everybody. There's a power struggle here, Aqua. But I've been getting that narrative for you anyway. There's definitely a power struggle between you and someone. Justice is here. Everybody's been getting justice tonight. Mm. Aqua, there is a power struggles. We have two eights on the board. Um, that's letting me know that you are definitely in locking horns with someone. I, I, I suspect that it's this ex person. If you are not um, being guided to release your ex, well, you are being guided to release your ex, but if this is an ex in the actual ex sense, this is someone who you want to be an ex and you're trying to clear the energy of that person so you can move forward with the new love. Um, you want justice in the heart of the matter. You definitely want justice. Um, the bottom of the deck energy is definitely the King of Pentacles. Um, but your primary focus here, Aqua, hmm, I'm going to have to clarify. See, you guys making me work. You start off and your element from a from, well, you you start off making money. You start off with a King of Pentacles type of energy. Some of you guys are maybe an entrepreneur, someone that owns his own business, so forth and so on. Okay, this could be the energy. This is you embodying the energy, and you're focused on getting some type of financial reward, financial abundance. Let's show you that card. Okay, I'm peeking. Underneath this is the, the tower. Underneath this is finances and career. Yes, this all, look at this. This is the king, the king of pence. This all relates back to um, this king is, uh, you know, a successful man, blah, blah, blah. You know, he could be a business owner. He has some money. This could indicate your energy or somebody that you're connecting with, or this is, again, your your energy, Okay. I'm peeking underneath that. That's the tower. This is going to be anything that is not built upon false, not built upon a firm foundation will crumble. We know that the tower comes as it's an ending, whether you like it or not. You, the, the purpose is to get ahead of the tower. This is underneath the bottom of the deck. And then under, net, under that is the devil. Um, underneath the release your ex is finances and career. So we know that that's on your mind and then you deserve love is under that. So this is all letting me know that you're stuck in um, in an energy right now where when the justice shows up, now the justice isn't showing up before and after the justice is showing up in the heart. Metaphorically, that can mean that that's what you're wanting, but you're not moving forward. That's what you're wanting because you feel it. That's what spirit and the universe keeps throwing in your face to make you take the justice that you need. But you're not making a move. For some of you, it's not it's not metaphorically. It is literally. And this indicates some type of court case, alimony, child support, divorce. Or this is what you want in your heart and you haven't taken the steps to move forward toward it yet. You're very heavily focused on finances. This is indicating that there could be some type of new money coming in from an existing talent or new money making venture with this eight of pentacles. OK, so congratulations. Um, this is new job, existing, um, existing talent or new job. And you guys got that in the ace of swords. So that's definitely letting me know that Aqua, you guys are definitely coming into newness with some type of money. Um, whether it be something from a legal standpoint, some type of reward, some type of payout, um, something that, uh, that has maybe a legal pool. Or this is something that's personal 
that justice is showing up on. Let's stop right there and talk about these zodiac signs. You're going to definitely be connecting aqua with air, your own element. So um, your clarity and you being triumphant over mental adversity that has kept you stuck, you're coming out of that. The situation is going to have bring justice and balance and fairness. And this is you mentally having that clarity or new venture, something that's going to bring forth some type of new clarity, um, new and uh, you overcoming the mental adversity. So this is you operating in your element or you can be connecting with or have other air in your chart, Aqua, that's your Aquarius, your Gemini, and your Libra, okay? This is the Libra card. This is the Justice card, okay? The scale. You definitely are going to be connecting with Earth. That's going to be your Taurus, your Virgo, and your Capricorn. And you are connecting with water. We have the three and then we have the four. That's interesting. And we're going to have to probably clarify that. Um, so you're going to be connecting with air. You're going to be collecting, connecting with pinnacle. That's earth. And you're going to be connecting with water. I do not see any fire. And that is what I'm upset about. We're going to be clarifying this four of hearts um, at the end of the four of cups. Because someone is offering you something and you're turning your back. You see that? Um, you are not focused on the three cups that are full. You know, the three cups that looks like they may be empty, but there's something coming out of it. Metaphorically, someone is handing you a cup and you are turning your back. Um, I don't know whether it's this new love, um, but I suspect that it is. And as a result of that, you are too caught up in the old energy of your ex in order to look at this cup. So you're, you have your back turned. OK, we are going to clarify this because I want to know. Finances and career are definitely a big deal right now. So, again. Um, existing money from a money making venture, sorry, new, new way of making money, new venture, okay, new enterprise, a new way of making money, promotion, new job, or from an existing talent with the eight of pentacles. So congratulations. Again, we got double eight. There's a power struggle, power struggle with someone who you definitely, or you might be in some type of, um, litigation with okay if this isn't the literal meaning of the justice card then this is you being fearful in your heart to move forward with the decision and this is probably you i mean you have it right here there's no need to clarify this spirit is telling you that new love is here to release your ex underneath that is finances and career and underneath that is you deserve love so that's giving me the narrative for three different uh groups of aquarians for some of you guys you need to um allow the new love to come in for some of you guys because you need to release your ex's energy and the karma and all of the things from that relationship. Some of you guys are heavily focused on finances and career. And some of you guys need to understand that you deserve love in order to move forward toward this new love. Get ugly. What I'm having a hard time with here, Aqua, is understanding why you go from collaborating and having a good time and celebrating with the three of cups and then you end with the four. So it's like we start off enjoying each other, possibly going somewhere to have a good time. We got new money here. We have a new perspective. We have a brand new thought process, but yet and still we're stagnant. We got new money. We definitely got some new money coming, some type of new something coming. When it's when when it is by aces, aces are always new beginnings, you know, new new something as far as what that particular ace, um, the element that that ace um, stands for. But it could also still mean some type of new venture, enterprise, something that's new, new job. It's always new. This is letting me know that however you were looking at this power struggle. Or whatever it is that you're looking at, you come out with a brand new frame and state of mind. But again, this is being bound by fear by itself. And the author decided to blend that with justice to let you know that there is fairness coming and it's going to be handled. It's going to be handled very fairly and it's going to be uh, there's a need for balance. OK, two eights is letting me know that you're definitely locking horns again with someone and it, it's possibly this X here, okay? I don't know in what capacity, but I know that every time you, you take three steps forward towards celebrating and being happy, 
you take one step back because you have the three down there and then you turn your back on that four coin. So you stop yourself and your tracks from moving forward. I don't know why. So you have a very cut and dry reading. Now I'm going to be clarifying it right away. I want to clarify this four and I want to find out we're going to put that on its ass. Um, I'm, it looks like I may have a little, some, I may have a little time here, so I might end up clarifying justice first. Now, I want to know what needs justice. When justice comes out, there's a need for some fairness. I know that it has something to do with this X because the X is here. Spirit is telling you, you need to release this person and you're afraid. The Eight of Swords by itself is being bound and restricted by fear. But that is the self-sabotaging energy because it's all mental. Get ugly, Aqua. Um, when this is in the heart of the matter, and just as it has been coming out a lot, and the reason why I love this deck is because it's not just cut and dry, oh, you're fearful, and then I have to pull another card. I can put it and spin it and, and, and spin it out and draw it out to get you to see that when justice comes up, there mean that there mean that means that something has bound you to fear. Justice shows up when fairness is needed. You're not being true to yourself. You're not being fair to yourself because this is mental binding. Okay, This is you being stuck in an energy that does not serve you when you know good and hell well what you, what you need to do. That's what this is. And it's in the heart of the matter. That's either literally or metaphorically. I do both. Okay, so there is a need for fair and balance and justice. You see those two scales at the bottom? There is a need for that because you are afraid to release the X and move forward to new love. Now, for some of you guys, maybe this new person is this king of pentacles. I don't know. If it resonates, fine. If it doesn't, like take it as it resonates, but... I don't necessarily see a person. I mean, this person is here. So that's either bottom of the deck energy, the energy that you're embodying, or an actual person. I do not think that this king of pentacles is the X. Okay. First, we're going to go ahead. We know that there's a power struggle. So I know that there's another person here. The two eights indicate a power struggle. And I can let you know right now, when I see these two eights, I always like to outline what the power struggle is. There is a struggle between mind and money. You are being stuck in mentally knowing what to do to get more money so you can possibly get out of this. The reason that you're stuck in this particular relationship possibly has something to do with money, which makes sense, especially if the justice is here, which indicates the court system. This could mean that you're married to this person. That's what the, when justice shows up, that's what we're talking about. So the power struggle here is mental fear versus how do I get enough money? I believe that some of you guys think that if you get the money, then you will be able to move forward. But it's actually in reverse. You have to be mentally, you have to be here with this ace. You have to be um, able to mentally um conquer what's holding you back in fear before you can even will yourself forward to make the money to get out of this relationship. Some of you guys are putting it backwards. Stop doing that. You, If you're scared, you're scared. You have to conquer this first. If you are bound by fear, you're not going to move. I don't give a hell how much money you got in the bank. You can't put the cart before the horse. Tie them together. Find out how they come together. But you you are here, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify. Um, again, so that's just me giving you a, a, a little bit more information about why you're fearful. Remember, that eight of swords. And that's mental. So that's you. That's not physical. That's not nobody that's, that, that has you tied up in the corner telling you that you can't leave. That's you doing that to yourself, okay? Universe spirit, angels, and my guys, let's go ahead and clarify the justice first. We have a little bit of time. Let's clarify the justice. I already know what this justice is about. 
But for shits and giggles, we're going to go ahead and do that. But I definitely am. I want to clarify this for because you're not accepting something. And I personally think that this is you trying to turn a blind eye over to the fact that you're afraid and have some fun. But you're always reminded that this relationship doesn't work. This is what I'm feeling. You always are reminded, no matter what you do, that the relationship is a joke and that it doesn't serve you. But you're so afraid you're not moving. Now, you have the mental clarity. But if you're still ending here, this justice and Major Arcana is the only one is the justice. OK, so if you're still ending in the four of cups, then you're not moving. You're still scared to me. You're not accepting the universe trying to put you in situations where you can they can bring justice to the situation because this eight of swords is you being afraid. So if if you start out here and everything is looking good, but you end there, I'm not accepting that. So we're going to clarify. OK, universe, spirit, angels and my God, please go ahead and give me one card that's going to verify or clarify the justice card. What is Aqua? What is holding Aqua back from reaching the justice? Why is Aqua afraid? Okay. I don't think I'm not taking those. Why is Aqua afraid, Spirit? Why is Aqua afraid? I'm going to shuffle again. If it doesn't give it to me, which they always do, then I'm going to go ahead and take it off the top. Okay. Universe spirit angels and my guides, please verify justice. What is what is Aqua afraid of? Show me, please. Show me. What is Aqua afraid of? What is Aqua afraid of here? In the heart of the matter. What is two popped out? OMG, we got the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Two of Pentacles. Your fear is definitely from a financial perspective. Look at those. Now, I, I don't understand. On one hand, you're, you're balancing aspects of your life. And then on the other hand, you're the queen. And there's the king. This is a divine partnership when the king and the queen shows up in whatever capacity. Translation, you probably just don't want to be alone. You don't want to have to have the financial responsibility of doing this by yourself. Look at that. This is what popped out together to clarify what you're afraid of. You're afraid of possibly losing money. But I, I don't. You're afraid of maintaining and balancing, but I bet you already do this. Look at that. Look at that. This queen is is you. Practical. Makes sense. Good with money. This is the queen of pentacles. That's what you're afraid of? You're afraid of being the strong queen of pentacles and holding it down by yourself. She's alone. You, this is the king and this is the queen. The bottom of the deck energy was the king. You're afraid of doing this by yourself. You are afraid of being this queen that has to balance and maintain more than one area in her life by herself. But she but you know what? She's she she's capable, more than capable of doing it. Okay. Go ahead and clarify this for. Overall, this screams you don't want to be alone. You feel like in order to be successful, you have to be in a relationship. Not the case. Universe and spirit angels and my guides, please go ahead and clarify this four of cups. Four of cups, please. Jesus Christ. See? I'm taking them. The damn King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles has come out twice. You're afraid of being happy. Look at this. You got the sun. The sun trumps all of this. 
you are afraid. Listen, this king and queen is out twice. What clarified this? The queen is up here and the king is right here. This is indicating to me that you don't want to be by yourself, first of all. Then we have the sun, but look at this. I can't look. Three of these popped out. Look at that. I'm just going to tell you what the cards say. Don't shoot the messenger. You're not accepting that cup of love. I don't think that's the cup of love. I think that that what you're not accepting is the universe telling you that this relationship is over. That's what that cup is. And I think that overall, you want to be happy with this person. And the two of wands is here letting me know that you want to partner up with this person and you do not want this relationship to be over aqua. I can't make it up. Now, spirit then brought out these cards. And if you keep telling me when I'm clarifying, you keep showing me this king and this queen to clarify, you want this partnership. So this is you feeling disappointed and let down because you don't want this relationship to be over. I can't make it up. Aqua. You want to be happy. You want to partner up with this king. What? What clarified this damn justice card? The queen of pentacles and the two of pentacles. You want to maintain and balance more than one area of your life. You're afraid to do that by yourself. What is clear? And, and that's the reason why you start out with being like this and then something knocks you back into reality, lets you know that the relationship is not going to work. But the reason why you keep going back here because you're still ending in fear, you're still ending in deadlock, is because of this. This is what you really want. You want to be happy in partnership with this king. I can't make it up. Right away this here. That trumps everything. Aqua, that has been your reading. And then look at the bottom of the deck energy. I can't even make this shit up. The bottom of the deck energy is the same four cups. Ah! I'm going to fall out. Aqua. Look at that. I get the same thing over and over again. That's what it is. Put your stamp on it. Look at that. You're unhappy. We know that. You know the shit ain't going to work. But what clarified it? All of these. You are afraid to do this by yourself. You are afraid to have to hold down the areas of your life by yourself. That's what clarified that fear. You got double four of cups. You're unhappy. But you want to be happy with the person. You do want to be happy. But spirit is telling you that it's not going to work with the person, yet you still want to partner up with them. With this damn king. Okay. That has been your reading. Listen to how to try to uh, qualify for your free reading. If this resonates with you. Go ahead and book me for that last free reading. It doesn't expire yet. I'm going to put these up because I am done for the night. I've done my clients. I am done. Okay. That took a lot out of me, Aqua. I'm so tired of playing dope fiend games with you guys. <laughs> I certainly hope it resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave me a like. Share this content with an Aqua in your life. Okay. Subscribe to my marvelous tribe. Let me know how it's rocking with you. I want to know if you're stuck in this stagnant energy. Let's talk about it. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. I keep getting the same narrative for you guys, so I don't think that I'm wrong. I keep connecting with a unique group of you guys that is just stuck in something that's just no longer serving you. I don't know whose energy that is, but seriously, if you are bound by that fear of that eight of swords and you want me to talk to you, 
possibly give you a crystal consultation, um, you know, just let me know. Hit me up. I'm here, okay? Let me know whether it resonated again. Like, share the content with someone that you know. Subscribe to my Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to connecting with you guys. Please look out for the top of the month where we're going to be um, talking about how does faith feel about you and talking about this energy that we got that's coming up for the month of October, okay? Um, it may be heavy. We're gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys to do some deep breaths and, and get it popping, but don't worry, we'll get through it, okay? Aqua, it is always a pleasure. I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.